But for you, what is your favorite thing about North Dakota? Oh, yeah. Um, it's the people. Um, I just love, I love the fact that, you know, we're, it's, we're one big town with long roads. You right. know, there's connections. <laughs> You know, you and I in the last 25 minutes made how many connections about whether we're, you know, from, you know, the same part of Germany, yeah, Russia, and, you know, <laughs> had a similar interest in, in professions. Um, but yeah, so it's, you know, I think a lot of times people will ask someone like me, who's, a, you know, a fairly progressive person who's in policy making, why don't you just go to Minnesota? Why don't you just move to Denver? And, you know, for me and my partner, it, this is our home. Our families are here. You know, we shouldn't have to leave to have the life that we want for us and for our friends and family. And so I just love the fact that there's such great people um, throughout the state. I think we're hardworking people. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we do take care of one another. Um, and I just would like to see some of that reflected more in our policies of it shouldn't just be expected on our neighbors to take care of it. We should all just take care of each other. And, and that way we can lift all boats with the tide. And, you know, yeah. I think this public health crisis has really shown kind of a great equalizer for folks in terms of it impacts us all, whether we own a business or we work for a business, whether we're in healthcare or need healthcare, you know, it's, yeah. we're all kind of getting leveled and there's certain folks that are feeling it much more than others, but how do we come out of this and look to how can we be a better service-minded state that can take care of our people, be a place that other people want to move to because they see how well we take care of our citizens, whether that's child care or long-term care and everything in between. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot of opportunities. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, I love how you say that because, um, you know, one thing about our extreme climate that, that I always call is, is our equalizer. And so it doesn't matter if you are it doesn't matter who you are. If you're stuck in a, in a drift, in a snow drift, somebody's going to go by, they're going to have a tow rope and they're going to pull you out. But blizzards only last, you know, a week or so. But this is lasting long enough that maybe the whole, it's going to be like a longer lasting kind of blizzard <laughs> yeah. where we have that, that sense of uh, sharing and stuff like that. And so I agree with you. And there's just, um, there's nothing, it's just this connection and it's hard to like, explain to people outside what it's like unless you are here <laughs> living yeah yeah well and i think you know there's been plenty of visitors who become residents people who come here for a work conference and get to experience how beautiful people are and the beautiful you know environment around us yeah. um and 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 that draws them in and and yeah. you know i just hope again that um we can be uh, the divisiveness that we're experiencing as a nation, you know, we're starting to see, I think, it come to the middle of the country as well and be yeah. a little bit more prevalent. And I, I hope that we can push back against that and be, um, uh, you know, a state that takes care of people again and then focuses on our gifts and our talents versus what makes us different. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find yeah. it. <laughs>